Time now for the morning rush. The man charged with trying to breach the cockpit of a plane is set to face a federal judge this morning. That Delta flight heading from L.A. to Nashville had to be di diverted to Albuquerque last week. The federal co criminal complaint details when authorities say that Asiel Christian Norton tried to stop the plane in mid-flight. He was then held down by passengers. Police are searching for a murder suspect indicted for killing a teenager. Investigators say 15-year-old Kyla Martinez and another person were shot when two vehicles exchanged gunfire back in April of 2020. Martinez later died. A Bernalillo County grand jury indicted Kevin Metzgar yesterday for the teen's death. Happening today, opening statements are set to begin in a trial for a man charged with raping and killing a six-year-old. Leland Hust is accused in the crime against Ardiana Jade Romeo in Rio Rancho back in 2018. That trial is taking place in Valencia County. Erica. Here's a look at our commute forecast. Temperatures this morning starting in the mid 60s. Very comfortable out there. Warming into the low 70s by 9 and low 80s by 11. So wear that light colored and loose fitting clothing for today. New details in the trial of the former state police officer charged with drug trafficking. Daniel Capehart was arrested in 2018, accused of stealing drugs seized during arrest. Capehart turned down a plea deal, saying he would rather go to trial. His trial is now set for June 21st. The search continues this morning for a man accused of hitting and killing a priest. Last month, Father Graham Golden and Brother Lorenzo Romero were broadsided on Coors. Father Golden was killed. Now, BCSO says that Manuel Soria was behind the wheel of the truck that crashed into Father Golden. Investigators estimate he was going more than 90 miles per hour. Two people are in the hospital this morning after police continue investigating several scenes in southeast Albuquerque. APD says it started with a car crash that left a six-year-old child critically injured. Officers then responded to two other crashes at one scene. A man had been shot. APD says it's not clear how the crash scenes are related. Erica. Here's a look at the Metro Threat Index. It's moderate to high today because we have very poor air quality this morning. You'll want to avoid time outside for the morning hours. And by this afternoon, temps back into the mid-90s. It's going to be a hot one. The city's proposed tax, two cents per gallon gas tax will not be heading to voters. City councilors approved the measure last month, but Mayor Tim Keller voted, vetoed the decision, rather arguing there were legal issues. Six votes were needed to override the mayor's veto. City council only got five. A vacant building in the heart of downtown Albuquerque will soon be the home for tenants and APD. City councilors signed off on a deal to sell a massive Rosenwald building at 4th and Central to a company called Townside QO21. Well, the deal includes a lease agreement with APD to turn part of the first floor into a substation. Eric. All right, let's get a look at the morning drive. On the maps, we are completely clear. Still no accidents or slowdowns to tell you about. And here's a look at Tracker going east on Central near Old Town, moving right along on those roads. Newly released video captured a mama bear taking a dip. The mama bear and her cub decided to use the family's backyard as their haven. Mama bear first basked in the sunshine. Her cub got a little workout by climbing a tree. They both then cooled off together by taking a dip in the pool before scampering off. Welcome back. On this day in 1923, a strong tornado hit near Roswell. This was one of eight EF3 tornadoes that have hit in the state of New Mexico. It ended up destroying two homes and three barns and even injured four people. Time now for the five facts. And number five this morning, summer camps are back on in the metro with many kids and counselors excited to be back. Last year, the pandemic canceled all summer camps, but this year, camps are back with some COVID safety modifications. The JCC Albuquerque says they will clean each space after it's used. Children must also wear masks at all times. Now we have a list of the safety guidelines at alwaysonkrqe.com. Number four now, the city's proposed two cents per gallon gas tax will not be heading to voters. City councilors approved the measure last month, which would have put the tax on the ballot in November of 2022 to help pay for the city's backlog of road projects. Mayor Tim Keller, though, vetoed that decision, arguing there were legal issues with deciding to put something on the ballot so far in advance. Six votes were needed to override the mayor's veto. Council only got five. At number three, we have red flag warnings in effect today from 12 to 9 for southwest Colorado, including Cortez, Durango and Pagosa Springs. There will be high fire danger, so use caution. On to number two now, flooding continues in Roswell from a breached levee. While well, city and county leaders can't agree on a fix for the problem, heavy rain fell on southern New Mexico over Memorial Day weekend, causing flooding in South Roswell. Roswell's mayor, Dennis Kentai, says that he's growing impatient. It's the Chavez County Flood Commission's levee. The commission superintendent says they won't fix it until the flow stops and the area is dried out. And at number one this morning, the man charged with trying to breach the cockpit of a plane is set to face a federal judge. 
While that Delta flight heading from L.A. to Nashville had to be diverted to Albuquerque last week, the federal criminal complaint details when authorities say that Asiel Christian Norton tried to stop the plane in mid-flight, rushing the cockpit, and then pushing a flight attendant. Now, he was held down by passengers who then zip-tied him. The complaint does not say why Norton decided to rush the cockpit. We expect to learn more at his first appearance in federal court later on this morning at 930.